M's Toyland. Hey, what's up, guys? M from M's Toyland. Welcome back. Today, I am looking at Wonder Woman. It's Comic Con weekend. Today is Saturday, the twenty third. I am recording and posting a whole slew of videos throughout the weekend. I'm looking to do the rest of this line, as well as the Grapnel Blaster assembled. Do a little look at that. Um, Joker, Suicide Squad Joker, is going to be in there somewhere as well. Possibly some other stuff. Maybe something different. Maybe, yeah, maybe Funko Pops or something. Something different. Something that I haven't done yet. So yeah, let's get into this. Here we see your packaging. Same as all the other multiverse packagings. We get the Batman v Superman logo, her name, Collect to Connect, blah blah. Here's some graphic art. Art, movie description, the figures, Grapnel Blaster. Here we have the Multiverse logo and the BVS logo. Back to the front, there she is in her packaging. Let's get her open and take a look. Alright, here she is out of the package. I must say I noticed a few impressive things about her. Different things. Oh, there she goes. I was going to say she stands up well on her own, but she kind of didn't there. Oh, yeah, she's a little wobbly. Doesn't help that this rotation table is not the best, but it's something. There she goes again. Okay, let's just give up on that. <laughs> let's take a look at her articulation. She has a head that does not really move. Um, she's pretty stiff all over, and it might give a little bit, but I don't want to break her trying to move it. So, I mean, even if it does, the hair is going to hinder that. Her shoulder goes up and down. Pretty good range of motion there. Let's see that. She's got a bicep swivel. And the shoulder forward and back. It goes all the way. She's got the elbow bend. And she's got this nifty little uh, rotation here at the elbow to stop the bicep from swiveling. That the male figures did not have. I like that they uh, made her a little more dynamic for her shield and sword positions. And here is her wrist. goes all the way around. The sword fits in her hand well. See, don't want to move. I thought the shield was pretty cool. Um, I didn't realize it would be so elaborate on the back. It's got this big molded uh, cuff link there that goes over her whole arm and the handle. <sighs> She's got the legs up, uh, forward and back and out. It looks like she has that same articulation as Batman and Superman to go out. Not as much, though, because of her skirt. But the other females I'm seeing, like Harley Quinn in that video, she's got them ball pegs. Very different. Interesting. Um, she's got the quadriceps swivel. She's got the knee bend. And she's got a pretty fair range of motion on her feet. Forward and back, no side to side. So, yeah, there she is. Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. She's gorgeous. Yeah, uh, I have not really actually played with her outside of the package at all, so she was surprising. I'm actually considering leaving her out and posing her somewhere. So yeah, there she is. Hope you guys enjoyed the little look. Again, it's Comic-Con weekend. Happy Comic-Con weekend to everyone. Very excited. Just watched the Justice League trailer earlier. Wow. Yeah, wow. So excited. <laughs> Legendary. Um, yeah, I guess that'll do it. Uh, a bunch more videos coming up right after this. I'm doing the whole line, so keep an eye out. Until then, keep on rocking, guys.